right there. Long term and extensive apartment repairs leave Denver renters living in a construction zone. Massive holes in their floors, dust and dirt, but few answers from the apartment complex. Tenants have spent days living with this mess with no place else to go. But tonight, our reporting is getting results. Marissa Armas, investigator Marissa, those tenants were left with essentially unlivable apartments. Jim, unlivable and unhealthy. Take a look at this large pile of debris. This was left from that unfinished construction. And I want you to follow me inside the apartment here. Take a look at this large trench. I'm going to show you with my measuring tape. It does measure about five feet deep. Now, the family that lives in this apartment worries because they do have a young girl. They worry that she could fall in. And not only that, but this could cause respiratory issues. And it's not just them, but many of their neighbors. I can. I'm worried. What was once Rocio Chanis's cozy living room is now unlivable. It's coming out a lot of mice, rats. The drainage was broken and it started to smell so badly. Rocio and several residents at the Avalon Apartments are now living in a construction zone. This after the complex sent a letter saying they would start replacing a main water pipe on Monday and that those repairs could last until August 1st. But the management team didn't offer residents many accommodations. They offered to use the bathroom in another apartment just for use the bathroom. Jace Brandle was on vacation when management entered his apartment without his permission, moving his furniture, preparing to excavate the pipe underneath his home. When they left, they left my doors unlocked. There's smoke everywhere, dust and the smell and the noise. Those concerns prompted the city and county of Denver to investigate, leading them to issue a stop work order on Thursday for not having proper permits. The city's Department of Public Health and Environment was also called in to investigate the rat infestation and other concerns. And while DDPHE didn't find any signs of rodents on Friday, they are requiring management to initiate pest control. Myself and my neighbors feel really unimpressed by how management has handled this. Rocio and Jace are now left hoping for a solution that puts an end to this construction nightmare. I would like that they put us in one hotel or some place to stay until they finish this problem. Now, after CBS4 did start asking questions, the property group Echelon did finally get back to us, and they did tell us that they are trying to find accommodations for these residents, whether that's moving in, them into a new unit or getting them a hotel. And just about three hours ago, one of the residents here did tell me that they are going to put him into a hotel at least until Monday. Now, the city and county says that construction here can't continue until those permits are finalized. They also say that this entire area needs to be cleaned up and these floors need to be finished before those residents can move back in. In Denver, Marissa Sadamas mm. covering Colorado First. Marissa reporting, making a real difference tonight. Thanks very much for that.